Oh my god. Hey guys, Kitty here. Welcome back to my channel and hello, happy 2019. This is my first video of the year and we're kind of kicking it off with a nostalgic video for myself. Um, this is a what's in my memory box video. So I'm going to go through the items that are inside of my box full of memories. I haven't added to the box in a long time so it should be interesting to see what's inside and it's been like years since I've opened it up as well. So yeah, I'll show you guys what's inside. I might skip some items if they're too personal, but I don't think they will be. It should be kind of funny to watch, actually, because most of the stuff I put in the box was from when I was really young, and I'm I'm weird. So, yeah, um, this is inspired by a video Ally Marie Evans did on her channel, so I decided that I wanted to do one, too. All right, so this is my memory box. It looks like an actual treasure chest. It's pretty cool. My mom got these for me and my brother when, it, or I think it's technically Santa. I don't know. We got them for Christmas a long time ago. So it just unbuttons with these snaps and then this little hook thingy. All right, first thing. First thing in here is actually from a oh, pretty long time ago. This is from when I went on my first ever mission trip, I believe, to Red Lake, Minnesota. So during youth group in high school, we went to Red Lake, Minnesota, and we got to make these little like mailbox things where the other people who were there, the other youth, wrote notes and this girl this is so cool so this girl goes I will watch your YouTube videos it's awesome I know someone who loves makeup as much as I do um, add me on Facebook so her name's Demi George and I actually am still friends with her on Instagram and Facebook and we've recently DM'd each other because she's an entrepreneur and we keep up with each other still so that's really cool I didn't know I still had these so yeah just more notes a lot of these say or mentioned something about my YouTube channel that's because at the time I remember I actually was getting more open about it um, and every single response I received from people who you know I talked about my channel to was positive I'm really thankful for that because I know there are a lot of youtubers who started off when I did and they received a lot of bullying and negative feedback from people in their real lives so next up um, this is gonna seem a little weird maybe a little sad but this is actually a little baggy with some of my cat sneakers hair and then a note that says the day he passed away so I can remember it so he passed away I believe the note says um, it was August 2015 and whenever one of my pets passes away you know like a cat or a dog I'll take some of their hair and put it in a baggie and so that's what I've done with this recipe sneakers all right, this next item is a little ticket to my senior farewell that happened on May 21st, 2013. I don't know why I kept this. So next up is this postcard. I got this from an antique store and this is really cool. This is a postcard written in 1904 in Salem, Massachusetts. Date says 1904. I don't know if you could tell, but it's in this little plastic baggie to keep it preserved really well. And then the front is just this little house. Kind of creepy and I really like it. I kind of forgot where this was so I'm glad I found it and I'll probably continue to keep it inside my memory box not sure if that's worth anything but it's pretty cool all right next up is a cute little letter my best friend Casey wrote me for Christmas one year she wrote me a lot of letters so I'm surprised I don't have more of these I might have more in the box I don't know but yeah Casey recently moved away to Colorado I miss her a lot <gasps> I'm really excited that I found this my friends and I have been talking about this recently and I keep telling them guys I don't know where it is I'll find it I promise and I found it it's a a DVD of a scary movie that my friends and I produced in this like house when we were in middle school. I don't know. I wish I could like digitize it and put a clip of it in the video for you, but I don't know how to do that. So I can't wait though to watch this with my friends hopefully soon. I gotta let my friend Michael know that I found it. There's gonna be a, a few of these in this box because every time I go to a musical, I keep the playbill. So this is the Fox Theater showing of the Wicked. All right, next is this little booklet. I don't know why I have this still, to be honest. Um, did I write in it? Yeah, a little bit. It's from a youth group trip. All right, so this is just a little thing that I got from my cousin's wedding. It's really pretty and I kept it because it's special. Another playbill, this is from the Lion King at the Fox Theater. Alright, so this is one of those, I can't think of what they're called right now, but it's a, when you go to homecoming or prom, you have a little wristlet and it has flowers on it. I cannot think of the word, um, but yeah, this is a, this is mine, and it's really, really dead, but I keep these. I don't know if anyone else keeps theirs, and this is probably from my senior prom, I think. Oh, what, 
Oh my. All right, if I have to guess, this is another dead flower. I keep a lot of dead flowers, apparently. I think this is from my grandpa's funeral. It's just wrapped inside here. I don't really want to open it up because it'll go everywhere. Next is just this DVD of a slideshow of photos that I've never opened up from probably my senior farewell. This is from probably another um, sort of youth group trip. I don't know. It says I believe on it. All right, this is another youth group thing. It's from Youth 2011. Let me know below if you guys remember the vlog I did of that thing I went to. It was my first ever actual mission trip. I think I went on it when I was in a sophomore in high school. This is a, another bag of dead flowers. Wow, Katie. This, what is this? I cannot recall why I have this. It could be, could be um, hay from a hamster, could be hay from a farm, I don't know, and uh, that makes me sad because this is supposed to be a memory box, but I don't remember, don't remember what, I don't know what this is. Alright, so this is a cute little note that uh, my sister wrote to me, the fairies, when I used to pretend I was fairies writing to her, leaving her little gifts, because I'm pretty sure my mom did that for me when I was little and I believed in fairies for some time and wrote notes to them back and forth. And so this is one that uh, my sister had wrote to me, I guess, but you know, she thought she was writing to the fairies. Um, it says, thank you for the flashlight. I really like it. I just want to know something about you, but I know you can't tell me anything because it's a secret. She can't spell very well. She couldn't. Now she can. You don't have to tell me, but if you can, please. Sorry, Christy. Fairies aren't real. All right, so this was a ticket to see the Shrek the Musical at the Fox Theater. We've got some cute little stuffed animals. I don't know where this came from, but this is a cute little bunny rabbit stuffed animal. Oh, some trophies. Got some trophies in here. I might actually take these out because I don't really... I don't know why. I guess it reminds me of when I used to play sports. <laughs> this is a bobblehead trophy. This was a, probably a participation trophy. I am from that generation of participation trophy recipients. Uh, this is a yeah, Katie Leggett, Summer 2004. I was in fourth grade when this was made. Summer 2004. That's crazy. And then there's this little bobblehead. And this one's from 2006 into 2007. I was in sixth grade. All right, so this next thing has to do with my grandpa who passed away back in 2011. Yeah, June 8th, 2011. This is his, this is, you know, the pamphlet that you get when you go to a funeral. It's his eulogy. And yes, he was an amazing man. And so I think this bag is full of some items that I took home with me after his funeral. So. Uh, four silver dollars, one of his toothpicks, and one pin. I don't actually remember doing that, but I'm glad I did. I have some keepsakes from my papa. Next is this. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so this is the first time I ever saw 21 Pilots. It's just a ticket. I kept it because that was a fun concert. All right, so this is another thing from my youth group trip. I think this was from the youth 2011. It was like a schedule. Another participation trophy from 2004 when I played basketball. The only sports I played, by the way, were basketball and baseball. All right, so I found another bag of what looks like wood chips, and I think now I realize that the bag from earlier is probably the same sort of thing. I think I collected wood chips from when my favorite trees were cut down. So I think this was my neighbor's tree or my tree in my backyard, and I think the other one was either or as well. Here are a bunch of stickers um, from my pictures that were taken of me in probably around 2004, I want to say. There's some, there's one of my brother down there at the end, but yeah. Throwback. Here is a jar of marbles. I don't know why I have this, but this is why my memory box is very, very heavy, probably. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh my god, another dead flower. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, I think this is supposed to be baby Jesus. Don't know where he came from. No clue. So I found another dead flower. I think perhaps there's probably in this little silky bag more. Yes, just as I thought. Um, lots of dead flowers and, um, yeah. This is from Mississippi. This is from when I went to Mississippi when I was... I go, oh, that smells. I probably should throw that away. This is another bag of, of flowers and grass and 
I was very, I'm a, I was a very nostalgic kid. I liked to like take things with me, not steal, but like take pieces of land or whatever, just like little keepsakes to remember things. And I think this was from when I went to my cousin's farm a long time ago. That smells disgusting, by the way. Okay, so I think I made this. It's baby Jesus and this is baby Jesus in his bed. This is most likely really old. Um, it's just this cute little bunny ornament, I think. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but yeah. Then I have some tickets from my first plane ride that I actually remember, and it was the flight down to Houston, Texas in 2011 when my grandpa passed away. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing my father brought it back from Mongolia whenever he traveled there. He used to travel a lot, so he would bring little gifts back for us. And it's this cute little... It's not focusing. There it is. Yeah, kind of. See her? She's cute! Did you guys ever have art class when you were young? Did you ever have to make paper mache things? This was my paper mache uh, animal. Don't know what it's supposed to be, but it is so cute, right? Wow. I am an artist. I have a box within my memory box. I don't know. Oh, cute. It's a doll. Apparently I liked dolls a lot. I mean, I know I did. I had a lot of dolls. I had a lot of little porcelain dolls. This is just one of many, but I didn't have any. I don't remember having any look like this, so I did not even know this was in here. I don't remember any of this being in here, but little doll. Don't know when I got that. It's from the Dollar Tree. Wow. This is a game of perfection, which probably does not work anymore. It's a keychain game. All right, then this is the end of a drumstick that was most likely broken off from some some concert I went to, although it had to have been when I was really young because this is wrapped with a Hello Kitty band-aid, as you can see. This is probably another little keepsake gift my dad brought back for us from when he used to travel. It has a lot of hair and dust on it. Nothing inside, just a cute little envelope purse. And we have another creepy doll. I don't know where these are all coming from. This is a random bag. It has coins in it. These are foreign coins. I think some of these are from England, um, and I think that's an American penny. So I just have some coins from all over the world. I love when I find notes. And I want to say something, guys. This is not my only memory box. This is just one of my oldest ones. I actually have, like, three more. This was written in 2012. Alright, so if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know my first boyfriend ever. His name was Nick. I filmed lots of videos with him. Great guy. We're still friends. This is a letter from 2012. He wrote me when we'd only been dating for four and a half months. Really long letter. I'm not going to read it, but I remember this letter. And yeah, shout out to you, Nicholas. Then there's this little potholder I made for my mom or someone when I was really young with one of those little sets you can weave things together, I don't know, crafty. So uh, there's not really anything that sparks my attention to show you. I think I have a Livestrong, like a piece of a Livestrong bracelet. Why do I have just a piece of one? There's a few pieces of old candy in there. I'm gonna clean that box out after this video is done. Let me know down below what you guys thought of this video. It was really fun for me to film. And I have a few other memory boxes, like I said, so let me know if I should do this again with a different memory box. Um, I have some that are from when I'm a little bit older, um, but this one's definitely a older box as far as how old the stuff in it goes. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Love you all. Goodbye.